Well, on um, February 21st, 2005, um, um, on that day, we were just doing a routine patrol and we came across a Humvee that was overturned. I want to say it was an MP unit from, from Minnesota. And we stopped by and to help out, just so happened they rode their vehicle by an IED. The insurgents watched from afar. They set the IED off once the, um, the Black Hawk landed and, and once everybody was inside the circles. We lost three guys that day. Um, but I'm just so fortunate um, to, you know, still have my life because we were so close. I mean, we was, I mean, we was less than, you know, three feet apart from each other when the IED went off. What happened once the IED went off, it, um, it hit my right leg, um, causing me to be amputated uh, above the knee, about mid thigh. And after, you know, after those surgeries, I just want to say in um, March, I began to try to walk. I began to stand up for the first time. And, um, and then one day I went to a clinic, a running clinic. Um, I wasn't running, I was just there to watch. And I saw a gentleman run that, that you know, it made me very, I mean, it got me all excited. My, my physical therapist, you know, they wanted to know your goals. And I was like, well, I want to run. And they began to help me accomplish those goals. Um, and um, because it was kind of hard to, for someone that's not injured, like the family to understand, you know, what you're dealing with. But someone that's injured like you or even, I mean, some of the guys was, you know, missing both limbs. So when you're around people like that, it kind of kind of helps you kind of appreciate your situation. And um, we all just kind of build off of each other and um, we encourage each other and um, that's how we got here. That's how I got to the point I am today.